Hello and welcome to Churchio, the ultimate church management software, tailored towards helping you manage your church with ease. So, I'm going to be logging into Churchio, so I can take you through an overview of the features. I already have an account with Churchio, I'll just sign in. This is Churchio dashboard. On your dashboard, you get to see the active members you have in your church. You get to see upcoming events, birthdays this month, sermon list etc. You get to see a chart giving you an idea of the income and expenditure for that year across the 12 months we have in a year. You also get to see your calendar of events. You get to visualize membership category distribution as well as membership growth. On the left of the dashboard, we have our account settings menu. This is where you do all your church configurations. Under account details, you can update your profile, add your church logo, and pick the currency you prefer to use, and all that. You can change your password. You can configure your church funds, set up directorates and departments, set up your live streaming integration, and set up your live meeting integration. You can configure your member categories, set up your payment processors, configure third-party mail providers, as well assign user roles and privileges. Under Academy and Trainings button, you can set up courses for your members, your pastors, your church workers. They can take courses, take tests and assignments. Under Assets, you can manage your asset, see your asset list, and even your management history. Assets that were decommissioned, assets that were sold, and all that, assets that were giving away. Under Attendance, you can get to record your attendance for church services or events. You can get your church attendance reports for each service, and you also get to view attendance to directorate meeting. And so, that is what we call the directorate attendance report. And then, we have Church Buddy. Church Buddy is our church-based social media platform for interactions among church members through direct chats, groups, and pages. We have made this platform available in order to help your church increase member engagements and interactions so you can go ahead and have fun connecting and chatting. If you click the Proceed to Church Buddy button, it takes you to Church Buddy, and so you can create an account, create your church page, create your church group for your various departments, and then your members can get into those groups and start connecting. We have Duty Roster. Under Duty Roster, you get to set up roster for the week, for the month, for the year, and then members can get this roster and get to know what they are assigned to for each service, each program, or each event. We have Events and Calendar. You can set up your weekly events, you can set up your monthly calendar of events, you can set up your quarterly calendar of events, you can set up special events. You can also get rid of event activities that have taken place. So an event goes on, an event that's taken place, you can keep record of activities of the event. And so for financials, if you get to set up your church funds under account settings, you get to see them listed here. And so you get to see and make entries of your church finances and view records. We just look at the summary reports and also keep record of members, member official records, expenditures and all that. And so for the summary report, you get to see a visualization of how much you've collected from January to December of a particular year. Of course, you can filter your query by year, and you also get a graph visualizing. Green is for income, so you get to see your total income for a month for that year. And you also get to see your expenditure for that year. Then you can download the chart by right clicking on the chart and clicking save and download so you can save the image from the chart, so you can put them in your reports, your printable reports. We have our member records. With this, you can add members, import members, and generate a link you can give to members to sign up under your church. You can message through a direct messaging of members. You can view member messages. You can view member birthdays. And then for newsletter and broadcast, you can send messages to your members, administrators, and send messages to your workers. All you need to do is just first of all make sure that you've configured your mail providers under account settings, and then you click the new broadcast button, then you select who you want to send a mail to, is it church administrators, the departmental leaders, or church members, or is it everyone you want to send the message to. You then put your message title, provide your message, and then broadcast the message. Each member gets a notification through their emails, and also on their dashboard, when they log into their account.
Churchio has program brochure feature that helps you generate a very simple program brochure you can use for your programs and events. You can use the new program brochure to create a new brochure. You can use the view history to see history of program brochures. You get to download the program brochure in PDF, and if you want to print, you can also click on the print brochure to print your brochure for you. Sermons, you can keep record of your sermons, enter in your sermons. You can store video links, links to audio record of the sermon, link to the sermon transcript, so you just fill the form, add sermon form, and submit. And then from the list of sermons, you can see a list of all the sermons you've recorded. When members log into their members area, they'll get to see sermons recorded, and that it has been uploaded to your church. You can view sermon details, and they can watch the video directly. That's practically what Churchio is all about. Hope you have a very nice time using this software in managing your church. Thank you.